Determining importance means deciding what the main idea of the passages are. If you understand your purpose, it will help you to determine the important information. A great way to think about determining importance is to be a detective. You have to look at a story, read a story, and truly understand the story and find out what's important. One strategy that we talked about earlier in the year was to look for important words or words that are used more than once. So, let's look at this story. Ages ago, living things like bugs and leaves got trapped in soft tree resin. The resin hardened into what we know as amber. It kept the trapped bugs and leaves in perfect shape. Now scientists are learning much about the distant past from amber samples. Some scientists say they are more useful than fossils. If I look at this story, I'm looking for words that I see repeated. I see bugs, and I see bugs. And I also notice that I see the word scientist, and I see scientist. I notice also that I see the word amber, and I see the word amber. And then I also notice that I see the word resin. Resin is also here. These are words that I see that are repeated. So bugs, scientist, resin, and amber. Now, let's look at words that are similar. I know that it says the resin hardened into what we know now know as amber. So I know that resin is amber. So really, I only need bugs, scientists, and the word amber. But before we move on, let's look back through the story and see if we see any other words that might be super important words in the story. Take a minute to look for one. What about the word fossils? So if we add the word fossils up here, we have Bugs, scientists, amber, and fossils. So I would take this and turn this into a sentence that says scientists are studying fossils of bugs. This would be my central idea, that scientists are studying fossils of bugs in amber. Let's look at another example. This story is called Dolphins. It says dolphins are mammals that live in the ocean. Mammals are different than fish, reptiles, or birds. As a mammal, dolphins breathe oxygen, even though they live in water, because they are mammals. A dolphin mother gives birth to a live baby. Unlike reptiles and birds who lay eggs, a dolphin mother also feeds her baby milk like other mammals. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to look in the story to see if you can find any important words. So along with important words, we're also looking for words that are repeated a lot. So one word that I see throughout the story, I see the word mammal. So I'm going to underline mammal everywhere I see it. And if I miss one or two, that's okay. But I see that so far I've found it five times in the story. I wonder if there's any other words that are in this story that many times. I see the word dolphin and dolphin and dolphin and dolphin. So again, I see a very important word, dolphin and mammal, that are repeated. There are some other words that are repeated in here, such as baby and baby. But I'm looking and I want to focus on just these two words, dolphin and mammals. How could I turn this into a sentence to tell me the main idea? Exactly. A dolphin is a mammal. This could be my central idea of this. So remember that determining importance is deciding what the main idea of the passages are. If you understand your purpose, it will help you to determine the important information. Another way is to look for who the story is about, where the story is happening, what is happening, when is it happening, and why is it happening. 
These are all things that could help you to, de to determine the importance. Let's look at this story. It's called Planets in the Solar System. There are eight planets in the solar system, and each one is very different. Some planets, like Jupiter and Saturn, are very large. Others, like Mercury and Mars, are smaller. Jupiter has moons that are larger than Mercury. The planets also have different atmospheres. Uranus, Jupiter, and Saturn have atmospheres of hydrogen and helium. The atmosphere on Venus is made, of, made up of carbon dioxide. Earth has a nitrogen and oxygen atmosphere. Neptune's atmosphere is mostly hydrogen. The planets also have different temperatures. Uranus is the coldest and Venus is the hottest. So I want to point out some things and see if you can take what I point out and turn this into a central idea. So I notice I see the word different. And I'm seeing it several different times in here, so that tells me that it is an important word. I also see the word planet, so I know that's going to be an important word. So I see different, and I see planets. But let's find some details that support different. I see coldest, and I see hottest. Well, I know coldest and hottest are different because these are exactly, they are antonyms, all right? It talks about how Earth has oxygen and nitrogen in its atmosphere, but it talks about how atmosphere on Venus was carbon dioxide, and then it talks about how Uranus, Jupiter, and Saturn have an atmosphere of hydrogen. So all of this is proving that they are different. So using what we know, and using our two words that we see here, what main idea or central idea could we write about the planets? That's correct. That the planets are all different. So I'm using my keywords, and I'm telling you what the whole story was about. That the planets are all different. Let's look at one more short story. This story is called Saturday at the Carnival. Pause the story for a minute and read this in your head. So with this story, we want to approach it from a different angle. Let's think about who. Who is this story about? That's correct. It's about James and Anna. Now, where? Where are James and Anna? That's correct. They are at a fair. Okay? Let's think about how. How do James and Anna feel at this point? That's correct. They are feeling excited. So, let's think about how we can take what we know, that the story was about James and Anna, that they are at the fair, and they are excited. How can we turn this into a central idea? Pause the video for a second and think about a sentence that you could write about the central idea. Do you have your sentence? Well, let's see if your sentence is the same or similar to my sentence as the central idea. So my sentence was, James and Anna were excited to go to the fair. Did you get the same thing as me? If not, that's okay. But let's make sure that we're thinking about what the whole story was about, which was James and Anna being at the fair, and being excited to be there. This again is called determining importance.